and Gooding and Akron. What do you think, huh? Thank all of you for being real champions for the children of our community. Tonight is going to be a fun evening with a lot of good music from Brother Trevor and Rascal Flats. But the bottom line of the night is we're here to be advocates for the children of our community. Your Children's Hospital has been part of Akron, it's part of the fabric for 128 years. And because of people like you, people that believe in being there for our children, last year we were able to see over 1 million visits in our outpatient programs alone. And Children's Hospital is based on three promises. Promise number one is, every child that comes to our doors, we promise to treat as if that child's our own. Promise number two is, we promise to treat you the family, the way you want to be treated. And promise number three is we promise never to turn a child away for any reason. And because of the care community, we're champions. Thank you, and it's now my real pleasure to introduce the guy that brought some true energy to this. I know him because I've seen how he loves his family and his two beautiful daughters. He has a real vision for what we can do together when we work together. Put your hands together for Scott Nwaba and thank you for all his good work. Scott. Hey everybody, I'm Scott Nwaka. Uh, my wife Julie and I just wanted to make sure that our family, friends, and all our business supporters know how much we truly appreciate the years of support that they've provided us to help make this event such a success. Mom and Dad, I know you're up there. I love you. Thank you. Uh, I wanted to make sure to thank Andrea Janowski too. She has been an incredible help to Phil and I in putting all the logistics together for this event. Andrea, I think I know you're out there somewhere. Uh, I'd like to finish just by saying how proud Julie and I are to be a part of this event. Uh, Phil and Jen and Brad and Jen have been so kind and so cooperative to have us be a part of this event. We're truly proud of each of them and this is going to be a great success. We hope you enjoy the show. Uh, with that said, I'd like to bring up the uh, founder, of, along with his partner, Brad, of uh, the Low Wind Charities. Brad, uh, Phil Lopez and Brad Croce. And Jen Lopez and Jen Croce. Have a great night. So, uh, on behalf of my lovely wife, Jennifer Lopez, J-Lo. Everybody give it J-Lo! Yeah! My best buddy from college, Mr. Brad Croce, his lovely wife, Jen Croce. We thank you guys for coming out tonight. Uh, again, we're trying to raise some money to get some 50 50 raffles. So buy those. Uh, we're going to have a text to give. Anyone have a cell phone? Can anyone raise it up? Okay, so all night, you're going to be able to text to the number 2. Four, I gotta read it out my hand. Three, seven, two, five, rockin. R O C K I N F O R E K I D S. Rockin for kids. The two, four, three, seven, two, five. All the proceeds go to Andrew Children. So we're gonna have Dr. Hort one more time. All together now. Ready? What's the number? Two. Four, three, seven, two, five. Rocking for kids. If everyone here works, oh, by the way, just you guys know, this is the first concert at Canal Park. Also, so you know, they have a streak of sold-out concerts, one for one. So let's make sure we bid. Thanks again, everybody. On behalf of Jen, Jen, and Brad, we thank you. We'd like to welcome Dr. Hoare, the Director of Oncology from Akron Children's, Jeff Hoare. Welcome. Well, thanks to all of these folks. We've had a wonderful evening for our kids tonight. Uh, Brad, and Phil, and the Jens all got together in about 2003 and started this event. Uh, it's grown tremendously. This is the biggest by far. And in the period of time prior to tonight, 
they have provided over $650,000 to support the Showers Family Center for Childhood Cancer. So please give them a round of applause. It's been great to have the Walker Foundation join them. And of course, it's great to have African Children's Own next door neighbors with the Hyper Rubber Ducks, Ken Babby, and Jim King to help host us this evening. So uh, we thank them as well, and they're great partners uh, in our efforts to treat the children. So in the cancer program, we number one want to make sure we provide the highest quality care to every child and give them the very best chance of beating their disease. And so we've done that by putting together a tremendous team physicians, nurse practitioners, physician assistants, all sorts of specialists, and many of them are here tonight. So please, raise your hand if you're part of the Showers team and give them a huge hand. They work 24 hours a day, seven days a week, just as if those children were their very own. So they do a great job. We have some of our patients here up in suite 212. This is our team survivor group here for an outing tonight. These are cancer patients who have beat cancer and are here tonight to celebrate with us. Over in the balcony, we have some of our patients that couldn't leave the hospital tonight, but the nurses have come in to bring them out so they can participate in the afternoon. So again, proceeds from tonight go to support our clinical care, our cancer research, as well as the support staff, such as our school teacher, our outreach nurse, our psychologist, some of our programs, like the Adolescent and Young Adult Unit, as well as our bone marrow transplant units and the food. But please, text the good tonight, uh, and thank you for being here. This is going to be a great evening for you and for our program. Thank you. So rather than me rattle on any further, we're going to have one of our patients, Melissa, who's going to tell you a little bit about her experience and uh, going through the battle of cancer.
that doesn't make sense because she's one of the most likely people to meet today. Um, but you know, uh, I'm going to ask you some about the uh, impact that she's had on my life. Well, I'm not going to say that she's had on my life. Okay, so what I'm going to tell you about is that 11 and a half years ago, through Make Wish Foundation, uh, we went to see Rascal Flats. And if you watch the screens and pictures will come up through the night, and there's a few people here that went to that concert with us, one right here in the front, a couple back up on the stage that were here with us 11 and a half years ago. This is Lauren's half the Kelsey's is wearing the two of the concert, so we pulled that out and found that. And we want to tell you that uh, the other relationship that's quite as mentioned is 27 years in the hospital. Um, our last at first was oncology. It is incredibly important that everyone supports the programs that are not you know, directly to the medicine, the rest of it to get good treatment. To get personal support for your friends, but you also need the teen program, that's our teens out in section 212. We also need other programs, and it's all about the name of the program called AYA Adolescent, the young man as well. And that program is on the teen and young adult primary. But the youth never stop because there is much good treatment on the other hand, and it takes the medical treatment and also we want to thank you for your time, and Corey was going to mention one last thing about the program, the money support that these two. There was a psychologist, her name is Dr. Laura, and she helped Kelsey and I out at the time. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, it's so important. It's that way that we can help people like Dr. Laura for the people who are in those situations, you know, so people can be there when someone needs someone to be there. Um, so, without further ado. Thank you. Give me a big round of applause. Okay, so, due to diagnosis or diagnosis of chronic blood disorders, life changing, not just for the patient, the whole family, really no one can make it through without the support of the 